Hi guys, it's me Kat, and I'm back. This is first day post-op, and I don't really feel too out of it. Uh, the pain is very manageable. The lipo areas that were worked on, they don't burn for me. Maybe just a twinge of a, a light burning feeling yesterday, but overall lipo areas do not hurt. And the surgery was supposed to be at 12.30 yesterday, and I was wheeled in around 1 o'clock. Kind of interesting because, you know, after they take your vitals and insert the needle for the IV... You know, I was putzing around a little bit, um, and then they came in, and they said they were giving me happy juice. And I was like, oh, okay. And I'll tell you, before I knew it, that happy juice, I was knocked out. I don't even remember. Like, I just remember the the bed turning to go to the operating room, and I remember nothing after that. So I was, I was out like a light. And then I woke up in recovery probably around 4.30, uh, 3.30 to 4, uh, no, I say around 4.30, and then, um, I just had, they offered me food, but I said no, oh, I, I ate my keto roll there, because I didn't want to eat crackers, and then I went home, and then when I got home, my husband helped me up the steps, and I got my walker, and I was walking around the kitchen, and then I sat down, I got up and down a couple times yesterday, I went to sleep last night in this chair, wasn't the most comfortable. Some of it was more like, like a twilight sleep, but I did get some sleep, which is like amazing to me. And, um, you know, I'm going to be spending a lot of time relaxing this chair today, but it's my mission and my goal to keep getting up and walking periodically through the day because that's what my doctor wants me to do. Um, anything else? Not really. It just, I guess it's better <clears throat> than I expected. Uh, not tougher than I expected, at least for now. This is day one. I did not have any Expiral. I didn't have um, anything. He did say he puts Novocaine into, like, internally to kind of numb that area and make it feel pretty good for the first uh, 24 hours or so. But then uh, last night I took an oxycodone and took one today so far. I'm supposed to take those three times a day. And I think it's really going to, it, it really is going to help. Like, I, I feel pretty good right now. Um, I do have drains. My drains have been filling up, but not excessively. Um, anything else? I'm trying to think. Uh, wish I had the remote right now so I could turn on TV, but my husband always gets that remote. Because after, after all, it is game day. It is Saturday, and Saturday mornings for us have always been for football. So I, I think he's downstairs uh, doing some exercising and watching that. <laughs> uh, don't laugh. Um, as far as useful tools... When I got home, I used that walker. I used that walker. Highly recommend it. And um, let's see what else. Pea funnel. Get the pea funnel. You do not want to have to be sitting down, standing up. And the more work you have, the more it's going to bother you. So I used my pea funnel, um, and everything was good. I did use Gas-X because when I got out of um, the surgery center, Gosh, I felt like I wanted to burp, and I couldn't burp. It was like there was so much gas in my stomach. So I took the gas X, and then it seemed like it kind of moved down in my intestines. And now it's it's okay. But overall, I, I, I feel like um, I feel better than what I expected, not worse. Like people say this is the worst pain ever. Ah, uh, having a baby it was pretty bad too. Um, so I would kind of equate it with um, uh, having a natural delivery, not a cesarean, because when I had my cesarean, it just, it really didn't hurt at all. And, but the other kids that came through naturally, two I did not have an epidural on. And let me tell you, there's no pain like that. <laughs> Everything is compared against that. And, and honestly, I thought this was uh, so far, so far. Now, you know, I'm only on day one, but it has been better than what I expected. So I'm thrilled. Absolutely thrilled. My, my throat's a little raspy. Um, I did take a hauls and... I'll try to calm any coughing down. So when my husband comes back up, he's going to bring me some water. I'm going to fill it with, like, the keto electrolytes, and then I'll just check which pills that I want to take, like the bromelain. Um, I don't need gas X right now, uh, but any, any other stuff. All right? So thank you for watching, and sorry I look like an absolute mess, but this is, this is real life. This is what you look like the next day. Showers. I can take my shower tomorrow. Um, I'm feeling just really scuzzy. I'm wearing the same clothes I wore yesterday. They don't put underwear on you. I went right into the Faha. The Faha has a split opening. And I, I thought he's going to put me in a binder, but I have my own binders at some point in time. I will do that. Um, but my stomach, when I look down, it looks...
nice and flat. <laughs> All right, so you guys take care, and I will, um, I'll do another video soon. But this is my first day post-op. Thanks. Hi, you guys. This is day two of post-op, and I really had an awful night last night because I had trouble falling asleep uh, because of pain. I did a really stupid thing, and in my support group, they always say, don't miss taking your meds, and I felt pretty good yesterday, so I, I thought, well, why don't I just skip one of the oxycodone pills? And boy, oh boy, at 12 midnight, I had to get up and take a pill. And then I also had a lot of gas in my stomach, which went to the intestines, and that, that was painful. So I got up about two times to go to the bathroom by myself. I didn't need any help. I was slow going, of course. And um, I woke up this morning, I think around 5.30, my intestines and my stomach actually felt really good. Like there was no pain from any excess, excess gas. So that was good. And um, I'm feeling pretty good today. Uh, this is day two post-op and I can, it's, you know, I don't spring out of a chair, but I can just, you know, kind of shimmy myself out of the chair and I'm doing pretty good with that and, you know, trying to walk around. I'm a little bit straighter today. I think the more I walk around, the less of that gassy feeling I have. So I think that it's good to walk, you know, in my plastic surgeon said walk as much as you can. It's going to make a huge difference. So that I am doing. And um, there's not a whole lot more to report. I don't really have much of an appetite. I had oatmeal this morning, and for lunch, I just had a keto milkshake, and that's just almond milk, stevia, and you know, a little bit of vanilla extract mixed in with ice. And I mixed in um, a cap full of protein powder to get my protein. So um, I think small meals are going to be ideal. Um, I also took the. Um, Oh, uh, what are the pills that? The Arnica tablets. I, I took the Arnica, Arnica tablet to reduce the swelling and bruising. I don't, I think I'm going to wait to take bromelain because it, said, it does say on the back of the bottle, I took one pill, but it says, you know, if you're taking other medication, consult your doctor. And I did talk about Arnica, so that was good. Hi, guys. I know this is not a great look for a Monday morning. This is how Monday mornings look if you had to put it in two. A video not too good I was gonna take a shower yesterday but I chickened out because it was really really cold yesterday um, coldest day of the fall so far but today it's one of those weird fall days where it's going up to about 70 degrees so I thought well I'm gonna try to take a shower this afternoon um, I had a great night's sleep last night I took my um my uh, oxycodone about two hours before I went to bed slept pretty good my cat slept right here. It's so weird because my cat has to sleep with me. It, he just he just does. Uh, both actually like to sleep with me. And they wouldn't sleep with my husband. <laughs> so they're all out here. And um, what I do is I put a pillow over my tummy. And then I have two handlebars for my chair. And then I put a thin piece of plywood over my stomach area. So that the plywood is sitting on those arms. And it works out rather well. Because if my cat walks up from my feet... He walks on that board and there's no problem. And the board comes up to right around just below uh, my boobs. And then he slept right here all night. So it's very comforting having him there. I uh, So I'm going to take a shower today. And I made sure to keep up with my pain meds because I could tell. Like I felt really good midday yesterday. I was walking around, walking faster, standing up a little straighter. But then if I didn't take my pain med, by the end of the day, my back was killing me. And my back killed me this morning because I went to get some yogurt and blueberries and uh, I was good and I had another pain pill. So I'm gonna get up and walk and do my drains. Um, drains, you know, a lot of people complain about them. I don't think they're that much of a pain. I mean, they're there, you know, so what? Uh, oh my gosh, I coughed yesterday. Oh, it's one of those things that comes up on you. You know, you got some mucus in your throat and uh, I just got caught in there and then I coughed and I was like, oh my gosh, seeing Jesus moment. I mean, you thought you died if you coughed. So I don't recommend coughing. <clears throat> just keep trying to clear your throat a little bit and whatever you do. Oh my gosh, don't sneeze. Put your fingers under your nose. Hold, like, just don't sneeze. 
oh, not for at least a good uh, try 10 days or two weeks. So this is why I was wearing a mask before um, the surgery, not necessarily because of COVID. Of course, a lot of places do require a mask because of COVID but because I didn't want to catch the common cold. Oh gosh, that just like freaks me out. So that's where I am. Um, overall, my spirits are good and um, I try to walk around as much as possible. If I had a name a couple things that were so useful to me, it would be number one, my walker, uh, number two, my pea funnel, and I'm trying to think if there's number three, uh, I don't know, I'll think about it later, but uh, um, you know, those, those would be the top two. I'm sure my number three, my brain is just too tired right now, it's like six in the morning. So I just wanted to give you an update and I'm hoping to take a shower later, uh, maybe like around one or two. And my husband has been wonderful. He's a saint. Um, we've been married a long time. So, you know, sometimes we get on each other's nerves and we laugh about it. So I think that's the way it is. Um, all right. So uh, what can I say? I will see you in a video later today or maybe I'll just do one tomorrow. All right. Thanks for watching. And I hope your day is better than how I look this morning. <laughs> All right, you guys, uh, take care. Hi, you guys, it's day four post-op. Last night, I had a pretty good night's sleep. Um, not as good as the, the night before, but still pretty good. And my husband woke up around seven or eight. He slept in today, made me eggs and bacon. And then for lunch, I had some oatmeal and I'm going to have a protein shake in about an hour, then hopefully work on some chicken or meatballs. I haven't had much of an appetite. Appetite just went out the window. I don't know why, maybe it's because when they take those muscles and they pull them together, it really squishes my insides. I have no idea, but um, it just feels like my stomach can't hold as much as it used to. Uh, Pain-wise, I would say really am not in that much pain and you know, I'm easily able to get up and out of my chair and, you know, just carefully, slowly, of course. And I've been walking around and I'm probably about 80 to 90 percent standing up. Uh, the oxycodone that I'm taking, I don't like taking it now because now that I'm really starting to feel better, the oxycodone will take away the back pain. That's the only reason why I take the oxycodone. But it makes me feel a little bit dizzy at first and slightly nauseous. So I'm not sure if I'm going to take oxycodone this afternoon, but I will take it before I go to sleep tonight. So I'm trying to wean myself off that because I have five days worth of oxycodone. And as, as far as, like I said, pain has been minimal. And I'm hoping to go outside and walk tomorrow. I've been trying to walk as much as possible. Uh, but if I do one lap around the block, that's 0.4 miles, I will be using my walker to do that walk tomorrow and I may have to take breaks. You know, I may have to say, hey honey, I just need to sit on the back of my walker and just take a break for a couple minutes and then we'll move on. But I'm determined to get one lap in tomorrow, going slowly, not pushing myself. I will only do what I feel that I'm able to do. I'm not a crazy person. Of course, some people may say otherwise. I'm not gonna, you know, I know my limits. And so that covers the activity and other than that, I, I just feel I'm doing pretty good. Drains, again, don't bother me. I'm able to do my drains by myself. They don't pinch. They don't hurt. And, you know, everything is just going better than what I expected. So I'm really, really pleased. And I go back November 2nd to get my drains out. My drains really aren't putting out that much. Like, um, I don't think they are. Like, Last night it was like 10 cc's in one and maybe 20 in the other. It's been going down. And uh, th the important thing to me is just to try to stay as active as possible within reason. You know, every time you get up, try to walk. You know, I was walking with my walker. Right now I'm not walking with my walker at all. And, you know, um, I would, yesterday I took a shower, took a shower by myself. And my husband only popped in if I said, I'll, I'll call if I need you. And he popped in just to see the results. And he was like, wow. And I was like, I know. I, I, sorry, I don't want to laugh because uh, that will hurt. Um, you know, but uh, yeah, I was really surprised, very happy with the results so far. And 
uh, I'm not ready to put pictures in a video yet of those results. Minor swelling, can't complain about that. And um, just uh, eat your fiber and drink lots of water. Had my first bowel movement yesterday. And you know, it's one of those things where you just have to relax. And it took an hour. Yes, it took an hour. But um, it's you don't want to think about it because you know, your, your stomach muscles and it, it could hurting, you know, and it would, it would hurt, but it didn't really hurt all that much. I did take Dulcolax, that's the stool softener, but I did not take any laxatives except for the old school way of eating lots of prunes, liquids, and still cut oats. Other than that, I, I think I'm, I'm pretty happy and I'm really happy with the results so far. So I just, I only hope to keep my fingers crossed that my continued recovery is going to be as easy as I feel it has been. All right. So thanks for watching and I'll try to do an update on day five, which is tomorrow.